we've implemented it, we found that it wasn't being utilized. But we do have actually multiple shuttles already in the community. I think one thing that I know that our joint team is looking at is can we get some uh, synergistic effect of the multiple uh, shuttles we, we have. We have the team shuttle. Uh, we have a shuttle operated by our Department of Logistics that currently is going to locations like Claver and Launch Stool and Pulaski. Uh, when we have sufficient population on Sembach, we are looking at uh, adding a stop to Sembach. But the issue would be, if you don't get the ridership, you're going to have a false start. You're going to implement that program. You're not going to get the ridership on it, and then we're going to have to terminate it. So what our goal for Sembach long term is wait till we have the long term max capacity population there. Then we'll be able to add on the stop. Um, all of the Air, Air Force lodging, they have shuttles to the different lodges. MWR is doing a weekend shuttle that was initially geared towards single soldiers at Semba, Reinhardt's Barracks and Claver. We're modifying that, um, and I think we're going to remove the ROV stop and bring that to Fogelway, and it's going to go both to Armstrong's and to the lodging uh, office, and that does take you to the KMCC in, in multiple locations. So I, I think the answer to that is we need to work better on advertising the existing shuttle capabilities, try to see if we can better coordinate those so that it's a holistic solution for the community. But uh, we really need to be careful because as Colonel Munson alluded to, it hasn't been a tax uh, uh, advantageous uh, use of our funds in the past.